This could be major for the Chicago Bulls as we're going to be talking about the recent injury update around this team and also to the key takeaways for this team as they get ready to take on the Atlanta Hawks tonight. This is your host Rico Greenhow and you have found yourself on another episode of Bulls Digest. So look the Chicago Bulls are getting set to take on the Atlanta Hawks. This is a team that we did beat uh, once before but this is going to be a different uh, situation going into this game. And mainly it starts with the injury report. And so let me start with both of the injury reports uh, for both teams. And so, you know, with the Chicago Bulls right now, uh, going back to the story around Patrick Williams, Patrick Williams had to go and get his foot looked at. It is the same foot in which he had to get surgery on. And it appears that he's at least going to be out for another week before he's reevaluated. From what we understand from Billy Donovan, there's some swelling going on. So it doesn't look like anything major right now. Now, but they want to wait and see and see uh, what happens once the swelling goes down with Lonzo Ball looks like uh, he is not quite to the point where he's going to be ramping up just yet looks like he's close to that ramp up period and then I guess he'll be reevaluated from there with the new injuries here so Sunogo is out with a knee injury we have EJ Liddell who has an elbow contusion and then we have uh, Tory Craig now he has uh, it looks like a lower leg contusion he hit a camera or something like that going for a rebound and that's pretty big because well Torrey Craig was the uh, starter uh, for Patrick Williams when he was out and so now if Torrey Craig is not able to go or he's not 100% uh, that's going to really have that question out there of what uh, does Billy Donovan do as far as putting a starter out there you have Kobe White's coming in with a little bit of a neck issue or some stiffness or something like that going on doesn't seem like anything major but you know that is really the injury report uh, for the Chicago Bulls going into this one quickly with the Atlanta Hawks and so I know that they have DeAndre Hunter back and so that's going to be good uh, for the Atlanta Hawks and this is going to be challenging for the Chicago Bulls because they don't have Patrick Williams and now you have Jalen Johnson you have DeAndre Hunter that's coming back and then they have Clint Capella so this team certainly has the size advantage and so that is really the injury update for both of these teams going into this game and as we do a comparison now and so you know I talked about this at the start uh, where the Chicago Bulls beat the Atlanta Hawks and mainly they beat the Atlanta Hawks just with a complete team effort in this one we had nine players in double digits it was a complete uh, team effort in this and it certainly I, I think leaned on the youth movement I think that they made huge contributions off the bench I believe Ayo Desumu had a good game and we were extremely active on the defensive end at some point because because we turned uh, the Atlanta Hawks, well, we got 12 steals uh, in that game, and so turned them over at least 12 times in that one. And we were able to get out on the break as well, 23 to thir or to 23 to 12, excuse me, in the fast break points, we were able to win that. And so hopefully the Chicago Bulls can get back to that type of basketball tonight because to be honest with you, these two teams are so similar because the Chicago Bulls, uh, they're at the top in pace and then you have the Atlanta Hawks that are right uh, behind them. And so it's going to be like almost a similar type of style tonight. And it's just going to be who is going to play defense. And we know with the Chicago Bulls, at times it has been optional and it should be something that uh, should be mandatory every night. And it's the only way that this team is going to start to become a winning team. You have to do winning things and that means playing defense consistently and it can't be something where uh, if your offense is struggling then you do not want to play defense that cannot be the case tonight uh, because if so the Atlanta Hawks are going to run the Chicago Bulls and so with that being said I wanted to go ahead and just look at uh, both teams and the projected starting lineups and just talk about some players that I'm looking forward to seeing and so I definitely want to see uh, Trey Young uh, continue his resurgence and then also to Dyson Daniels. I, I think he's been intriguing this season. I love the fact that uh, he's really figured it out defensively. He's at the top, I think, in the league as far as steals, and he's doing some great things. And if, it seems like the trade to Atlanta has really unlocked him. And I, I like the fact that, uh, you know, he's becoming a serious uh, perimeter defender out there. And so I always love defense. And then he's also, too, figuring out his offense here. And so with this roster in general, Atlanta, I mean, it's they have an 
an awkward roster construction, much like the Chicago Bulls. You hear a lot of trade talks around Trey Young and things like that. So just seeing these young pieces and Jalen Johnson, who seems to be getting better, like these are some players that I'm looking forward to seeing uh, in Atlanta's game or for Atlanta in this game tonight. With the Chicago Bulls, look, there's a couple different storylines around the Chicago Bulls and some things that I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, mainly with Zach Levine and Vooch. You know, I want them to continue to uh, keep playing at a high level because if they're looking to be moved or if the Chicago Bulls are looking to trade them, obviously the better that they play, um, you know, just the more trade value is going to be there for both players. But I've liked Zach Levine. I've loved how he's played with the right pace and Vooch too as well. I mean, they played within the team concept. I've talked to, about this several times with the low usage rate for both of those players. And I just love the fact that they're extremely locked in. I believe there's a piece out there on Yahoo about Zach Levine and just talking about really his maturity and, and being locked in and just the confidence that he has right now in this season and just going out there and just really playing uh, basketball at a high level, not just on the offensive end, but the defensive end. I've loved that about Zach Levine and he's been locked in. And so I love that and I want to continue to see that uh, with our younger players. And so starting with Josh Giddy, I would say you know, forget the stats. The one thing for Josh Giddy now is just confidence. And so hopefully he can find some confidence. That is something that has been discussed around this team um, on multiple networks. And it is true with the confidence because, you know, you're seeing that uh, if plays don't go well, you can see it in the body language and things like that. And he's just got to find a way to stay confident and really control the things that uh, he can control. And, and much like Zach Levine, you know, he can't control the narratives and things like that but the only thing that he could control is really uh, what he could do on the offensive end. You know, can he lock in on the defensive end? And I think that that is something that uh, Josh Giddey is going to have to continue to do. And I would say, look, you know, his thing is getting rebounds and assists. It's like lock in on that and then the rest will take care of itself. Hopefully, you know, as this team continues to build, I know it is going to be a challenge uh, for this team, but uh, yeah, it's just confidence for Josh Giddey. And so with uh, Torrey Craig, I think Torrey Craig has been the ultimate professional. He has played a whole bunch out there and I'd expect for him to contribute much like he did uh, in this last game out. But aside from those storylines, I want to now see some more of the youth movement. I think that, uh, you know, aside from just uh, Dalen Terry and Julian Phillips, who have played very well, I do want to see some more of Modest Bozellis. I continue to keep talking about that. I think it's ridiculous that, uh, you know, we don't have our first round uh, pick out here playing. And in order for us to build with the these younger players, they just need to get out there and get some experience. So I want to see Julian Phillips, Modest Vazelis, Daylon Terry play some more minutes. And then also too, uh, you know, a player that hasn't really been talked about as much, Jalen Smith. Like I want to see some more of Jalen Smith because look, if we're going to move on from Booch, uh, Jalen Smith is going to have to play some major minutes. And, you know, I think now that he's not listed on the injury report, uh, we've got to find ways to get him out there. And we've got to find ways to utilize him a little bit more it seems at times he has like these solid starts or good starts and then all of a sudden he disappears and so somehow Billy Donovan has got to figure this rotation out and get these younger players out here especially with the injury concerns that we are going to have and then I'm hoping that Ayo Desumu can continue to shake off this slow start um, along with Josh Giddy as well just offensively they can figure some things out and so those are some keys that I'm looking for uh, in tonight's game so let me know in the comments what you're thinking uh, going into this game against the Atlanta Hawks is it yes Billy Donovan has got to find a way to prioritize the youth movement and not just lock in on the wins um, is it a specific player that you're looking for tonight I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments here and so I just want to thank everybody out there for liking sharing and commenting on the videos it means a lot to us here at Bulls Digest we try to reach our, our goal of just uh, 5,000 subscribers before the end of the season I want to let you know about 75.5% of you that watch are not subscribed, so make sure that you go ahead and mash that subscribe button. Uh, that means a lot to us as we try to reach that goal. And look, even though the Chicago Bulls are seriously a mess and we don't have a direction, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do with these younger pieces on the team. And we haven't pivoted uh, away, uh, you know, from the, the last team and we haven't uh, really bought in on this youth movement like we should. I'm still saying uh, go Bulls. And uh, I'll see you guys on the post game. All right, peace.